My father died of alcohol when I, when I was 12. So, and, and I was aware of the fact that he was a big drinker. The weirdest thing about my father dying of alcohol when I was so young was I couldn't wait to try it. I mean, as daft as it sounds, you, know, you would have thought like, you know, like, you know I'd, I'd, I'd make my mind up not to go down that road. But no, you know, in actual fact, I just couldn't wait to get going. You know, I was like quite looking forward to you know finding beer and drinking it and seeing what what the effects were like and things like that. You know? I had an uncle who would like you know like go down a pub and he'd leave us in the back of his pickup truck and he'd go in a pub and he'd bring out like half a brown ale or something like that you know a bottle and like you know we used to sort of like nurse that for hours and then think it was one it tasted horrible but you know like but I used to think I was like really grown up and I, I and I loved my uncle for doing that. He's died of. You know, like uh, he died prematurely. You know, he was an alcoholic, but I still have fond memories of him doing things like that with us. But I started smoking when I was 12, and uh, and I eventually got to a stage where I was smoking like 60 odd a day, and I had really bad bronchitis, and uh, I'm asthmatic. By the time I was 14 or 15, you know, like you know, the, the idea of not having a cigarette would have horrified me. As a, as a teenager, I got into a lot of trouble and uh, I was put in a, in a home and within the home you were allowed to smoke and uh, so like, you know, so I, I had no fear of like coming home at weekends and, and smoking around my mum, it, was, it, it wasn't really an issue and, uh, and I, I managed to uh, stop smoking uh, 10 years ago now even though I wasn't smoking tobacco, I was smoking plenty of other things Cannabis was like the first drug I came across, apart from alcohol, uh, when I was late teens, so 18, 19, something like that. Uh, I, was, I was living in Essex at the time, and I remember going out to a nightclub, and, uh, and somebody had some. I remember we all went out from the nightclub uh, to a parked car in the car park, and, uh, and none of us knew how to make this joint. Like, you know, I remember we, we had these rizzlers, and we were fiddling around, and trying, you know, like they were breaking, and none of us knew what we were doing. And we made this very half-hearted attempt at a, at a spliff, and I remember like, smoking it. It was dreadful, and it had done nothing. But like, you know, that was my I said, my my first memory really around cannabis. Well, it was very it? gradual. Uh, cannabis, you know, was like it became the norm, and like, I smoked that just as a constant, you know, like you know, throughout my life. And uh, alcohol as well. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So what was your drinking like around that time? Uh, so? I've always been a big drinker, always been a big drinker. You know, my mother was telling me like uh, that I was alcoholic from the age of 16. Now she knew, and I just thought like that alcoholics were the kind of people that drank, drank meths and slept on slept on park benches, and I wasn't doing that, so I couldn't possibly have a drink problem. 